you for asking of me to express the reason for the hope that is in within me. Mm -hmm. I, I personally want to always be ready to give an answer. Mm -hmm. As stated in 1 Peter 3.15, but sanctify the Lord God in your hearts. Mm -hmm. And be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and with fear. Amen. Amen. So, for me to be able to speak about these things, it firms them up in my own mind. Because I feel like if I'm not able to articulate them, then maybe I don't really understand them all the way. As I meditated upon the mystery of Christ, it brought me great joy. Yeah. It brought great joy that the Lord has actually opened up this mystery unto us. Mm -hmm. What a blessing this is, that we are among those that is no longer hidden from. Amen. Mm -hmm. And what God calls a mystery, when He says a mystery, then it's really a mystery. This is something that cannot be discovered Amen. just right. through human wisdom. This is something that has to be revealed by God. Amen. And this has already been brought out that this is something that God wants to do. He wants to reveal these things to us. <coughs> Matthew, I mean Mark 4, 11 uh, and 12 says of Jesus that He said unto them, and this has already been stated, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. But unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables. Mm -hmm. And Colossians 1, 26 and 27 says, Even the mystery which has been hid from ages and from generations, mm -hmm. but now is made manifest in his saints. Amen. To whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, mm -hmm. Which mm. is Christ in you. Amen. The hope, hope of glory. Lord. Amen. So, dear brethren, the reason for the hope in me is uh -huh. Christ in me. Amen. Amen. Mm. This fellowship with Christ that I'm so very thankful for, mm. the Spirit dwelling in us, this is what keeps my hope alive. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful that He has revealed this to me, that I now know this. <clears throat> the Spirit identifies with us that we are the sons of God. Mm -hmm. And there was a time when I was taught <clears throat> that not all had the Spirit. Mm -hmm. that, that the Spirit did not dwell in all believers. And I believe this too, that I thought that there was only a few certain ones that the Spirit dwelled in. Mm -hmm. But praise God that He has revealed to me this mystery that all the saints have Christ dwelling in them. Yeah, Those that have been right beside the God. Yes. And there is great power to be had to be taken advantage of whenever you're able to understand this truth that Christ dwells in you and you're able to take hold of it. Yeah. Mm. And you think about it, never before Christ was something like this done. Uh, we've, already, we've already spoke about these things, a lot of these things that I'm saying, but it's mm -hmm. safe to say them again. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Uh, Amen. All of our brethren before Christ, they never got to experience what we get to experience. So we're living in a time of the Lord that is different. So we've been, mm. we're privileged in this aspect that we're experiencing this thing of Christ dwelling in us. The angels, they've not even experienced this. Mm -hmm. But now in the day of salvation, this is a new thing that's taking place. Mm -hmm. And we yeah. know Christ is the one. He, he became a man. Mm -hmm. And God is pleased to have all His fullness to dwell in Christ. And He has found in us those that are reconciled to God. Yeah, amen. That's, that's a large thing to ponder. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this is not just for some, as we said, but all. And Paul speaks of this um, in Ephesians 3, 16 through 19. And he's very specific about how this would be accomplished. That he would grant you according to mm -hmm. the riches of his glory. And I think Brother Pat's going to speak about these, these mm -hmm. riches of glory. To be strengthened with might mm -hmm. by his spirit in the inner man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. this is so that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. Mm -hmm. And we know this is given for our spiritual stability. Because God wants to be known. The whole thing is about God. Amen. He wants to be perceived mm. and He wants to be known. Mm. And, and I think Brother Bob spoke about us being made in the image of Christ this beginning. Mm -hmm. God said, let us make man in His image. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, this is the continuance of this. Uh -huh. This is part of Amen. this. Us being perfected in Christ. Christ yeah. dwelling in us. Being perfected. This is being made in His image. Mm -hmm. Showing forth God. Mm -hmm. So glorification is the culmination of our salvation. Yes. When we shall be like Him, mm. we shall see Him like He is, mm -hmm. 
and uh, we'll be like him then. This is why we have uh, we will have glory because we will be like Christ. Mm -hmm. And this involves our whole person. It involves our bodies, our spirits, and our souls. So we know we'll get a new body, but our whole selves will be glorified together with Christ. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to even imagine that, but I'm thankful that the Lord has shown us that this is something that is attainable and, and this is something that is in the future for us that we'll be able to experience. And so I thought of this, the whole body assembled together will be like Christ. Mm -hmm. And this is why salvation is taking so long, because it's going to take so long to be able to show Christ, to show God, to show who He is in mm -hmm. such a large body. I mean, all the different members, to be able to really show God. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a big work that He's done. <coughs> yeah. So this is why it's taking so long. And the consummation of the bride and the, and the Lamb will be the ultimate feast of opening up yeah. God. You know, we partake of God now, but, but that feast will be like we will have God opened up to us. Amen. Um, and there will be a fruit produced then that can, cannot be produced now. It can only happen at this time when we shall see Him as He is. Mm -hmm. And at that time, the body will reflect the perfect image of God. It will be when all the saints are assembled together that we will actually be able to see the full image of God. And all of us will have to be arrayed in our wedding garment, which is His righteousness. Mm, yeah. We will leave this body of flesh behind, praise the Lord, and we'll put on our new incorruptible mm -hmm, body. Yeah. And we will finally be able to show forth the workmanship of God. And mm -hmm. all will be able to admire God mm -hmm. in His fullness because He could not be seen until He has this work. And this is what it's all about. It's really about showing God. It's not about us. Mm. But praise the Lord, we get to be involved in this work. Yes. Mm. So, I say that at that time, then this mystery will be uh, revealed to all. Now, just the saints can see parts of it. But at that time, the whole universe will be able to see what this mystery was, but not all will be able to be partakers of this. Mm. The ones that are without, they'll be able to see then too, because they'll see who God is and, and who He is and for who He is. And they'll be able to know that Christ was dwelling in us, and they'll be able to see uh, His purpose and what, what He was doing all along. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Amen.